going to show you how to fix a, it's a 2010 Dodge Ram uh, with the uh, vehicle entertainment system. And the rear screen either is black or look like that, but you can't turn any of the inputs on. It's just blank. So that says when you try to turn the VES on. nothing happens so and this you bring up through the menu and then rear VES if it won't turn on here's what you do there are four well two bolts here and here and then there's a two Phillips head screws one there and one there Take those out and we'll first turn your truck off so you don't shock yourself. So once you've got those bolts out, I'm just going to come down. Then you need to disconnect these three wiring harnesses. And by the way, those bolts that are holding it up are 8 millimeter bolts. Um, so once you've got it down, The, kind of the orientation of it. So close, close the screen. And you're going to need to undo these tabs right there. There's what, three? Three on each side. One there, there, and there. And you just I got a little pry tool, but you can use a screwdriver. Just pry it open a little bit. And then you'll push the DVD player, or I'm sorry, the screen module up as you're pushing this plastic piece down. And it'll look like that. And then these little clips will push out. I can't do it with one hand, so I've got all those out. And then you've got these two tabs back here. Just push those, push the tab towards the the screen, and then everything will come off. Okay, so that. Then you've got your screen away from the trim piece. you're going to need to take out one, two, three, four, five, six Phillips head screws on the top and you also need to take off two on each side. You also have to take off these here. So next <clears throat> we need to pull this top metal piece off. So you pry up the metal to get it off those plastic tabs and you need to get this this metal piece here to pull away a little bit to, to get it to release from this tab right here. So what I do is pry under here. And just get it to loosen up a little bit enough to release that that tab right there. So once you've got all that loosened up, stop part. We'll come up and this cable is where the issue is. Um, the first time that I came in here and fixed it, it was loose. So you can see it's a little bit 
crooked. Sometimes all you have to do is just push that, push that in, and that'll fix it. For mine, the cable is cracked, so you need to um, see where the cable is in there. So you need to take this plastic cover off the screen and you can pry right there in the hole to get it started and then it'll pop off all the way around. So be gentle with it because you don't want to break any of these plastic tabs. Then you can pull that off and here's the other end of the cable. So you can see that's what it's, how it's supposed to be in there, not hanging out. But if you need to replace the cable, you just push on these tabs here. Um, so to get it to release, got a little screwdriver here, you can use your fingernail or whatever. But just push, get it right there on the end and pull it down. That's how you release it. And on the other side. And then it should just pull right out like that. So do that on both sides. So we've got those two released. And then you can, and of course, it'll just slide out. And with mine, from opening and closing so many times, I guess the cable is cracked. So it's not sending signals the way it's supposed to, but I've got to find one of these cables. It's called a ZIF cable. Zero insertion force. So, so it's a it's a 34 pin cable. It's all stretched out approximately nine inches long. It'll say on the, the circuit board there, see 34. That's a 34 pin cable, nine inch. Um, and on the other end, right there, 34. So, um, I'm gonna try to just put mine in backwards to see it's a cracked cable. I just want to see if it's a cracked cable or a, if it was a loose connection again. But you want the contacts to be facing up. And you just slide it in. And you want to push these little tabs. Push them back in. This is all very hard to do with one hand. Matter of fact, hold on. So you need to push the cable in as you're pushing the tabs in. Um, but it should look like that. With the contacts not sticking out like that you saw on the four. So um, then you just reconnect everything opposite of the way you took it apart. So everything's back together and then now when you go to rear VES you'll have the different options so now you can watch The Lego movie again, hallelujah. So if you like it, thumbs up. Sorry it was a little shaky. Tried to do it one-handed, but hopefully that'll save you some money.